everyone, this is coming off. My hair is not prepared. My hair is never prepared for my videos anymore. I used to like do my hair, but now I don't because, I mean, that's a thing. Taken, I'm wearing the exact same outfit, hair and everything as I did in my last video. Today, I'm filming a video about terrible things I did as a child. We all did a lot of terrible things as children. I was a bit more terrible. It's gonna be a compilation of little story times about my childhood. I have a list right here, and we're just gonna get right into it. This is a story that Katie doesn't remember. Katie's sitting over there. She's just like my, my momager. She's my momager. <laughs> I was in grade three, and you were in grade two. One day at recess, it was during winter, I saw this one like older kid, I think he was in like fifth or sixth grade, like, whoa. He was throwing snow at her. And I was like, <laughs> because that's my little sister. I'm not throw snow at my little sister. I was so cheap. I did the first thing any kid with severe ADHD and behavioral issues would do. And I picked up a sheet of ice and I ran over to this kid and I threw it at the back of his head as hard as I could. And he fell down. And then I'm pretty sure someone like told on me because I think the kid's head was bleeding from the back. I think I cut his head in the back. I'm pretty sure I just went to the office. And like at this certain school that I went to, I went to the office like I want to say either every other day or like every week or something. But the principal actually liked me a lot because I was like a gifted kid at the school or something. So she like didn't mind me. I would literally show up at her office every day because I would cause so much trouble in just grade three. Like I wasn't a troublemaker in any other grade but grade three. And she would always feed me goldfish when I went to her office. And she'd be like, Sarah, not again, but she would be like lighthearted about it and she would feed me snacks and like we'd just sit and chat. I have another story from grade three. There was this kid in my class and he had some sort of learning disability. It was like something close to ADHD. I had ADHD as a kid. <laughs> she threw a popsicle stick at me. Get out of the studio. Security. A little. Thank you. No problem. We were like a best friend kind of duo thing because I didn't vibe with anyone else in that class. But, and he didn't either because he just didn't want to socialize with them due to his sort of behavioral slash learning disability, which is fine. So we vibed, like we vibed a lot and we would hang out and he actually introduced me to Google in grade three. I, I don't really like. He introduced me to like Google images and the fact that you could search up literally any image you want. He showed me 2007 OG memes. Like this kid introduced me to what my life is right now. Anyways, we were like best friends. We would chill during big recesses. I was allowed to like stay inside with him. I was allowed to go off with him while he did his own thing. So one day we were in the classroom by ourselves. And I remember it was Valentine's Day at school because there was like a Valentine's Day dance. And I hate school dances. Always have hated them, always will hate them. You won't catch me at prom 2017, except you probably will. I have to sneeze. <laughs> in the gym or something, checking out the dance. And me and Alex were in the classroom, probably playing on Google Images, looking at memes. I don't know if this is like a thing at your school, but at my school, we had like milk delivery. So like little like cartons of milk would be delivered to the class if you like ordered it or like paid something like monthly. So the crate showed up at our class while we were the only ones in it. Both of our screwed up minds in that moment were like, we should crush them. <laughs> so me and Alex, we take out like all of the milk. We laid it out like a hopscotch type of pattern. We were like, let's just go, let's go. And we would like jump across them, like squishing them with every leap. And like chocolate milk, white milk, all these milks was just splattering everywhere. We made the biggest mess. And I don't know why our little eight year old brains thought this would be a good idea. I don't know what like, Sure, the thrill of it, the rush of it, fine, that's a fair statement to make, but what's the purpose? What's, like, what is the logic? We didn't clean it up, we just left it there. I was hopscotching across the milks. As the teacher walked in, she like let the other kid off the hook because he had a worse disorder than me or something, and she sent just me to the office and I was not allowed to go to the Valentine's Day dance, but that's exactly what I wanted. I'm pretty sure that was the logic behind why I did it because I really, number one, hated Valentine's Day in elementary school. Second of all, hated school dances. So like Valentine's Day dance was like my literal hell. So I mean like, 
Good job, Sarah. It really was not a bad situation for me at all. Joke's on you, Mrs. Wheatley. The next one happened when I was in senior kindergarten. In junior kindergarten, I got away with a lot of crap because it's like your first year of any sort of school. It's when you go from chilling at home as an infant to like getting into the school system. But once you get to senior kindergarten, that's when the expectations start and like you're expected to like behave. So we were reading a book in senior kindergarten kindergarten called like rainbow fish or something I don't know if you remember it like here's like a little picture of it I guess after we, we read the book my teacher was like going over it and like summarizing it so we'd get kind of get an understanding of what we were reading get like some like literary concepts I don't know and she had this like this big sheet of paper and she was drawing out pictures for us so we could like visually understand what was going on and at some point in the book rainbow fish met a whale and so my teacher drew out a whale on, on a piece of paper but at this time, I was beginning to discover my artistic abilities and I was a little bit cocky, you know, for my age. I was like, okay, so like, I can show up this teacher right here, right now. Like, no challenge, like, no challenge. I said to my poor teacher in front of this whole class, I took her by the weave and dragged her. I literally stood up and was like, I can draw a better whale than you. I was hoping for a challenge. I was like, no challenge. I Hunty, right here, right now, I could draw a better whale than her. And I got in huge trouble for that, for like talking back to her, for being like sassy. Katie just reminded me of one that was not on the list. We were like four or five, I wanna say. This is like back in the day when like we were incapable of making our own foods. So my parents used to have to like make us snacks. And one day they like made us, they just got us a bowl of grapes. Like they always made us wash our hands before we ate. So we were in the bathroom, we were like racing to like finish washing hands. And I was like, I'm so ready to eat some grapes and I'm gonna win. I don't know, like, I don't know how you win eating grapes, but I was like, I need to win. I ran to the kitchen so hard and I shoveled grapes in my mouth from this bowl of grapes that they prepared for us. I was shoveling in grapes so hard that I like inhaled one and it went into my throat and I think this is like the first time I ever choked. Yeah. So I start literally suffocating and I'm like, dying and my dad is like doing the Heimlich maneuver on me until I like cough up the grape and it goes flying across the room and I was like I don't know why I thought I had to eat the grapes the fastest, faster than Katie. I just needed to finish them all before she could even touch them I guess. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So a lot of times throughout my childhood I went through phases of really, really wanting to be a witch. Like I really just wanted to have, like be like a wizard or a witch. Like I went through a Harry Potter phase. I went through like a bras and broomsticks phase. I went through like a like a psychic phase. Like I went through all these phases of some sort of like magic, magic abilities. I really wanted magic abilities. Uh, we used to stay the night at my grandma's house every so often. And one time we were staying at our house, I was going through the witch phase. I was always like the mastermind behind plans. Whenever me and Katie did something bad, it was always me. Um, my grandma was like doing something in the kitchen. She was like cleaning or like making lunch or I don't know. She was doing something by herself. And we had to like play on our own. We had to entertain ourselves for a bit. So I was like, Holy crap, Kitty, let's make a potion. Let's make a wizard potion. Let's make, no, it was a love potion. I'm like, let's make a love potion to make boys fall in love with us. I don't know what boys we were talking about, but we wanted some boys to fall in love with us. So I was like, we're gonna make a love potion, get a cauldron, let's go. So we found this like old cookie tin. We emptied it out. We took it up to my grandma's bathroom and we're like, let's start this concoction. Like, yeah, let's go. And we took all of my grandma's like Chanel perfumes, like, I don't know, Louis Vuitton perfumes, like all these really expensive designer, Marc Jacobs, like all that kind of stuff. All her really expensive designer perfumes, unscrewed the top, dumped them all into this one container. And we like mixed crayon shavings in there. We put some like baby powder in there. Mixed everything in there. And then we took like a spoon and we, like, we stirred it up. We're like, yeah, like we're making a love potion. Like, ah! We were in the basement mixing it and the perfume was obviously so strong. We dumped like six bottles of perfume into one little container. So she comes downstairs and she sees all these empty bottles of expensive perfume and us just sitting there making a mess. She got so mad, like so mad. Which is understandable, but as a child, I could not comprehend this. I was like, 
Dude, we're like making a potion like chill grandma jeez. It was probably over $200 worth of perfume, not gonna lie. And we even took her like makeup. We like took her eyeshadows and like mashed them and crumbled them into the concoction. We took her lipsticks and like broke them off and like mushed it up and threw it in there. Like we wanted this potion to be beautiful. We wanted boys to fall in love with us. It didn't work because we're still like lonely as hell, but. And my grandma was so mad. I did not understand why until like when I got older and I was like, money. This is the last story of this video. Um, it's about the time I did ecstasy in grade four. I'm just kidding. But okay, so I had this one friend and she was kind of like weird, but she was cool. Like she was cool. We vibed. And one day, like she invited me to come to the washroom with her. So we go to the washroom and she pulls out these like pills, but they were fisherman's friend, which is like cough pills or like, like cold medicine. Like you've seen it before. You've seen this medicine. And she asked me if I want to take one and like try it with her. I was like, yeah, sure, like like cough pills. Yeah, like we'll just be healthy together. And um, when I was in grade four, I had this journal and I would write every single detail of every single day just cause like I was really bored and I wanted to be like a writer at the time. And one day my parents found my journal and they like read it and they saw this one entry that was like, yeah, me and so-and-so went to the washroom today and we took a bunch of pills. It was so cool. And my parents got so worried. I was like nine years old at the time. Our daughter's popping pills in the school washroom. Little did they know it was Fisherman's friend. So I worried my parents and that folks, all these stories, all these experiences in my life are why I was a terrible child. And I probably have a lot more stories. I'm just gonna have to ask my parents or ask other people to like remind me of some. Cause like, I, I have a bunch, I have a bunch. I was a terrible child, you guys. Don't be like me. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me today with these crazy story times. Um, let me know what you wanna see from me down below and I'll make sure to film it cause I got some time on my hands and I wanna film some videos. So I will see you guys very soon. Bye.